Hello everyone. Today, our topic is protein ligand interaction using PyMol software. PyMol software is a free visualizing tool for educational purposes. And this educational video focuses on using PyMol software for basic analysis of a protein ligand interaction. What is protein ligand interaction? Protein ligand interaction covers a wide criteria of interactions between a protein and any other chemical moiety. For example, the interaction could be between a protein and a substrate. It could be a protein and an inhibitor. It could be a protein and a cofactor. In all these cases, the protein, in other words, the enzyme, reacts with the substrate or cofactors to perform a specified catalytic role. However, the inhibitor, which is an intended molecule that prevents the enzymatic action of a protein. All these interactions of the enzyme with the chemical moieties can be classified as chemical interactions. These chemical interactions include covalent bonds, hydrogen bonds, salt bridges, hydrophobic interactions, and van der Waals forces. Broadly, these chemical interactions can be classified as polar and nonpolar interactions. Polar interactions basically includes any charge-based or electron-based interactions. Nonpolar interactions includes any interaction that does not involve charge. In today's example, we are going to use PyMol tool to analyze the protein ligand interactions. Here, we are going to see an example between a protein and an inhibitor. The protein we are going to use is dihydrofolate reductase and the inhibitor that we are going to analyze is trimethoprim, which is a known antibiotic. Using the preset commands that are available in the PyMol tool, we are going to visualize what are the polar interactions and non-polar interactions. Using the basic functions of the PyMol tool, we can visualize all the hydrogen bonds that are formed between the protein and the ligand and visualize all the non-polar interactions or the residues that are interacting with the ligand without any charge or without any bond formation. At the end of this video, you will be able to analyze the interactions of the ligand and the protein in a similar format. And you will be able to differentiate the polar and non-polar interactions using such color coding. Here, I have coded the polar interactions with red color while the non-polar interactions I have coded it with light blue. The entire protein is colored as a forest green. I'll give you a step-by-step -step procedure of how to attain this kind of analysis. I have downloaded a protein molecule from PDB website, which is 2W9G. This particular structure has the DHFR enzyme with the trimethoprim molecule embedded in it as a co-crystallized ligand. Prior to analysis, I have already removed all the water molecules and other cofactors that were co-crystallized in this particular structure. Hence, I have retained only the trimethoprim molecule and the protein structure for ease of analysis. First, click on action, go into preset and click ligands. This action will straight away differentiate or it will separate out all the residues of the protein that are in close proximity or that are interacting with the ligand molecule. However, the non-interacting amino acids or the residues will be represented in a ribbon structure. The backbone of the protein will be represented in ribbon structure. To eliminate these non-interacting amino acids, Click on the hide H icon, then select ribbon. This will remove the backbone of the non-interacting amino acids. Now you are seeing the structure of all the residues, the amino acids that are interacting with your ligand. The next step is to compartmentalize the polar and non-polar interactions. For this, you have to select the polar and non-polar interactions individually. For example, these yellow dashed lines that you are observing between the ligand and the amino acid, they are hydrogen bonds. For example, first I am going to try and separate out the polar interactions. For this, I have to click on the 
atom that is connecting this dotted lines. Similarly, click on all the atoms that are connecting the yellow dashed lines. Basically, all the atoms that are involving in hydrogen bond formation. Here we are seeing four hydrogen bonds, but three residues are interacting. Four hydrogen bonds formed by three residues. Now, after making these selections, the currently selected three amino acids will be falling under this select tab. Select tab here. Click on this action A, then select rename selection and I would name it as polar. Likewise, now select all the amino acids that does not form a hydrogen bond. Click on all the amino acids without giving a break. All of them will be selected in a group. Now I have selected all the amino acids that are not forming a hydrogen bond. This can be categorized as a non-polar interaction. Label it as non-polar. Finally, now we need to separate out the ligand for highlighting or for differentiation. Click on the ligand molecule and now rename this selection as ligand. Now, it is easy for you to separate these out and label these individually. For example, first click on the C option which stands for color in the appropriate tab. Here, go to the polar tab, click on C that stands for color, then select or uh, assign a specific color to it. Then go to non-polar interactions, click on C and give light blue, assign a different color to it. Then ligand, you can give a completely different color to highlight this entire structure. Now you can see that the ligand is colored as purple. The residues that are forming polar interactions are highlighted in red and the residues that are involved in non-polar interactions are highlighted in light blue color. So further to uh, increase the annotation, you can go to the polar section, click on L, label, then residues. Now you will be able to identify what are all the residues that are involved in the polar interactions. So for example, leucine 5, then phenylalanine 92 and aspartic acid 27. These are the amino acids that are forming polar interactions with the ligand. Whereas all the other amino acids are forming non-polar interactions. If you want to label all the other, then go to the non-polar, click on L, label and then click on residues. You will be able to see all the residues that are forming non-polar interactions with the ligand. So this is the annotation of the residues where you can identify what are the amino acids that are forming polar and non-polar interactions with your specified ligand molecule. To visualize this molecule entirely as surface view, you can click on show, that is S stands for show, then surface. Now that the entire protein is visible, you have to color code all the individual compartments again. First, color the entire protein molecule into a specified color. Then select the polar and give red color to it. Then select the non-polar interactions and give light blue color to it. Then select the ligand and give purple color to it. So here we are. Now we are able to visualize the polar and non-polar interactions formed by the protein with the specified ligand molecule. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Also, if you have any request for a specific theoretical topic or for a practical explanation on any software tools, please comment that in the comment section and we will work on that in our next video. If you have any improvements or suggestions on the existing videos, please comment that and we will work on that same issues in the following videos.
hope this video was informative and educational kindly share it with your friends and colleagues thank you very much